Hey everybody, my name is Jason Creel. In this video, I'm gonna show you a cheap product you can use on a lot of different type of grasses that will knock out a lot of different kind of weeds. And I'm gonna demonstrate the product. We're gonna use it and we're gonna show you the results in this video. Today's video is sponsored by my friends at Graham Spray Equipment. The Graham Spray Rig on the back of my truck comes from Graham Spray Equipment, Douglasville, Georgia. Check them out at GrahamSE.com if you need a spray rig for your business. Now the product I'm referring to in this video is right here. Change up. Now I like baseball so I like the name of this. It's a new farm product as you can see right there. This is a two and a half gallon jug. I buy my chemicals through Harrell's and the price I paid last fall I believe was $252 plus tax for this. So under $300 even with tax. And it's two and a half gallons. This is 320 ounces. So if you do this a little quick math, 320 ounces for under $300 you'll find out that you're paying less than $1 per ounce for this product. Now, if you buy it in a smaller quantity, it does come in a 32 ounce jug. I'll put a link in the description below. And a 32 ounce jug on Amazon at the time of this video, I believe was $57.95. So let's say you add tax in, you're gonna be at like 62 bucks or something. So at 62 bucks for 32 ounces, you're less than $2 an ounce. So again, you're, you're paying almost double than you would for this larger quantity. But even at that, when I'm mixing this up for spot treating, I put three quarters of an ounce per gallon of water. So if I've got like a little two gallon sprayer like this one right here, I might put an ounce and a half of change up in two gallons of water with surfactant. And you have got a very cheap, powerful weed control product to spray on a lot of different kind of grasses. I make a lot of videos and in some of the videos, the comments I get people is like, oh, that's so expensive or that's so expensive. And listen, I, I get it. Some of it is expensive. But when you're talking about less than a dollar for an ounce, what I'm paying for change up and then I put three quarters of an ounce for a gallon of water and I walk around spot treating weeds, it's not that expensive. And when I blanket spray a yard with change up, a lot of times I'll just use 12 ounces, which is a really low rate. And I'll put a quarter ounce of metsulfuron in there, which is extremely cheap. And that combination is great for blanketing with two gallons of water, run around spot treating weeds and it's very cheap and very effective. Sometimes people leave comments talking about the prices. I, I think they think that it's like I'm hooking this up to the end of a hose and spraying out the whole $300 bottle on the lawn. That's not how it works. It's a small amount. It goes a really, really long way. So even at using a blanket spray, I'm putting 12 ounces per acre, a whole acre. I mean, my, most yards are not an acre. So I'm out there in my business. Uh, it can be a very profitable product that gives good results. So I don't care how cheap it is if it doesn't work, I wanted a product that works, so I'm gonna demonstrate it in this video. Now, Change Up is a product that's gonna get a lot of broadleaf weeds. Not so good on grassy weeds, not so good on sedges. So you oftentimes you'll mix a product like Change Up with a sedge product. So maybe Change Up and Pro Sedge, or Change Up and Certainty, or Change Up and Solero, if you wanna be able to get some of your sedges uh, along with the broadleaf weeds. Now, if it's just broadleaf weeds, Change Up is a great product to control many of those. I also, another great thing about it is you can use it on cool season grasses and warm season grasses. You can use it on ryegrass, fescue, bluegrass, creeping bent grass. You can also use it on Bermuda, Zoysia, Centipede, St. Augustine. St. Augustine is a lower rate, 16 ounces per acre is the limit for that. Again, I'm using it 12 on some of these other grass types mixed with the metsulfuron and getting good results. So I've already got it mixed up with surfactant, an ounce and a half in two gallons of water. Let's go find some weeds. We'll spray them and we'll see how well it works. Make sure you wear your PPE, follow the label. I've got uh, rubber gloves, I got rubber boots, long sleeve shirt, long pants. The first weed I want to show you that we're going to be spraying is called yellow wood sorrel or oxalis. It looks like a little clover. It does have a yellow bloom on it sometimes. And it, I'm going to spray this. I found this weed can be a little bit difficult to control sometimes. I'm actually going to start probably putting change up in my round one mix early in the year to control this weed and field matter is another one that seems to be uh, getting missed with the current application I've been doing so I want to mix things up but I'm going to spray uh, oxalis today with change up. Now I'm just spraying lightly you don't have to try to drown the weed just get the leaves wet. All right the next weed is Virginia buttonweed it will put out a white flower now this is a very difficult weed to actually kill but not so difficult to suppress. I've been told that even glyphosate which is the active ingredient in Roundup will not kill 
uh, Virginia button weed, but anyway, Change Up does do a pretty good job on it, so let me demonstrate. All right, the next weed I want to show you, and this is actually a little bit of St. Augustine grass here, uh, is chamber bitter. Now chamber bitter looks like a baby mimosa tree and it'll mat up and really start taking over sections of the lawn. So let me show you how well change up works on chamber bitter. And this is a situation with some of these weeds where there's some chamber bitter. I'm not going to spray some chamber bitter. I will spray so we'll be able to see a clear difference from what's been sprayed with what hasn't been sprayed. All right, the next weed is Spurge. Spurge uh, mats up like this in the summertime. I'm doing this in the summer. Now, the change up will work on a lot of cool season weeds as well. But anyway, well, this will be another example where I can spray this patch of Spurge and not spray some other Spurge so we can compare the results. Another thing I'm interested in seeing in this video is just how fast does it work. Now, a lot of herbicides, the warmer the weather, the faster it's going to work. Also, the warmer the weather, sometimes the more likely you're going to burn the grass. You want to be careful not to overspray. Weed we're going to do, and it kind of looks like spurge to be honest with you, but this is called Lespedeza. Let me see if I can spell that. L-E-S-P-E-D-E-Z-A. Lespedeza. And we're going to spray it. It's often found in centipede lawns, and, and one of the great things about change up is centipede grass is very tolerant of it. Um, but this is next to some zoysia grass, kind of a bare spot in the lawn, just to be honest with you. But we'll spray it and show you how well it works on Lespedeza. If you can look out here, there's a lot of what I'm assuming is morning glory vine growing all throughout here. So I'm going to spray a patch of it. And change up is pretty good on vines, even like poison ivy, poison oak, stuff like that. So we're going to spray this morning glory and see what happens. And, there, and there's plenty of morning glory out in the distance there that I'm not going to spray, but we can check out how it works on this area right here. All right, we got all the weeds sprayed. It works on lots of other weeds, but we're going to test it on these six weeds. We'll see what kind of results we get as we check back on the progress. It's been three days after the change of application. I'm going to show you something that's pretty crazy on the very first weed. All right, I sat here and stared at this weed where I had this flag, and I was trying to figure out what weed was this that I sprayed, because it's been three days. I was like, I do not see a weed. But then I found it, and my memory kicked back in. And you can see this little pale, almost looks white, but that where my finger's pointing, that was the yellow wood sorrel, the oxalis. I thought I was about to have to go watch the original clip of the video to figure out what weed that was. And I said, oh, there it is, the oxalis. And you see what it did to it in three days. Now, I've been out of town, so I didn't look at it yesterday or day before. I may have did that in one day, I don't know. But three days later, the oxalis, is demolished let's check on the other weeds now before you think the change ups the secret weapon of all time and nothing will withstand its forces it's met its match maybe in the virginia buttonweed one of the toughest weeds of all time i've been told roundup won't kill it change up is, is doing some damage i mean you see some stuff happening there but far from dead so we'll continue to watch it and see how it uh, things go all right what about the chamber bitter and you can see what it's doing over here where it's not been sprayed chamber bitter right there and here's chamber bitter that has been sprayed again three days in you see some definite stuff happening is it going to continue to look worse in coming days we'll have to check back and see but definitely getting some good results after three days next up we've got Spurge, and you can see this is the treated spurge. Let me show you what it looks like when it hasn't been treated. A lot healthier looking plant. You can see this is turning colors. Not nothing as extreme as the results we got on the yellow wood sorrel, the oxalis. Again, this is early on in the investigation, so we'll give it a little bit more time. And the last we were checking out is the Lespedeza. You can see the green tint to the Lespedeza that's not been sprayed. And you come over here and you can see it's beginning to turn yellow and some discoloration there. So we'll give us some more time. This is our initial checkup and we'll be back soon. 
Check in on the morning glory. You can see all these vines where it has not been sprayed and let's look at what has been sprayed. You can see the difference over there, not sprayed, sprayed. And get a closer look. Change up is very fast and very effective on some of these vines, even like poison ivy, poison oak, Virginia creeper. And as you can see on morning glory, and I would expect those weeds to continue to get worse, not better as the days continue. It's time for another checkup on the change up application. We're about nine days after the initial application. Let's see what's going on. All right, let's start with the Lespedeza. Tough woody. This can be a tough weed, but you're starting to see some definite results. We're gonna check in probably one more time after this checkup to see if we can get even more results. You see what that's looking like compared to the ones that has not been sprayed. So definitely starting to see some stuff happen. What about the morning glory? Look at this, serious results on this. So there's obviously what's not been treated and here's what's been treated. I mean, it, it, it almost vanished. You see these brown vines here? That's the morning glory. Those brown spots, those are the leaves of the morning glory vine. Extreme control on that. Again, you see what it did look like before. So that's excellent results. Another excellent result. You can see the spurge over here that has not been treated. And then we looked at this before and wasn't a whole lot going on, but look at it now. Basically dead, wiped it out. Fantastic results on the spurge. Again, I want to remind you, Change Up is not an expensive product. People get so worked up over the cost of weed control sometimes. When you just walk around spot treating or even blanking in the yard at a low rate, it doesn't cost that much. Okay, here's the untreated chamber bitter. Let's see what it looks like when it's been sprayed with Change Up. You can see a lot of it turning yellow, some of it worse than others, some of it even turning brown. Inside there, you can see uh, more examples. So it's definitely working. This will be one we'll need to check back on as well to see if it continues to deteriorate. There's your untreated Virginia buttonweed. Nearly impossible weed to kill. There is your Virginia buttonweed that's been sprayed with change up. So greatly suppressed it. Though again, it is not dead and I expect it to recover. But this should hold it down until winter time, hopefully. And we already looked at this one earlier. This is where the oxalis or the yellow wood sorrel was. And to be honest, I don't even see it anymore. It, it, I, I'm not saying it vanished, but you remember last time it had withered up to next to nothing. And now you, you just basically can't even see it. I'm sure it's in there somewhere. So excellent results on that extremely fast. Well, it's been about two weeks since the initial application. Let's give the final checkup. And some of these weeds, there's no reason to even look at them. For instance, the yellow wood sorrel, it was annihilated in about two days. There's no sense to go back and look at it, it's still dead. But there's some of them we need to check on and see if there's any continuing improvement in the results. All right, Virginia buttonweed, that's one that's not been sprayed versus the one that has been sprayed. And it, again, it just, Suppress it doesn't look like it's changed much since the last time that we sprayed it I don't expect it to get any worse But hopefully this will hold it down until winter time. I feel pretty confident that Virginia buttonweed will be back next year Here's a chamber better situation and You can see where some of it's just turned yellow But other that I got a little better coverage on is really crunchy brown. So uh, And then obviously what's not been treated over here is super green so in situations like this, you probably have to do a second application if you just want to make it all crunchy brown. Could have maybe got a little better coverage next time or used a little higher rate, but at that point you might risk burning the turf a little bit. So you see what happened. Not sure what more you could ask for on Spurge. Looks like complete domination of the Spurge. Happy to see that. And you can see the morning glory here that's not been sprayed versus just totally wiped out this area. The morning glory so if you've got vines like that change up is a great product sometimes you think well i don't have morning glory growing in my yard sometimes on the edge of your yard you may have it creeping in but again it's not just a product for vines but i just showing you that it did an excellent job on the vines and last we've got the lespedeza the untreated lespedeza versus the treated lespedeza i don't know that we've seen much else happen since the last checkup which makes me think this is about as bad as it's gonna get. Similar to the chamber better, second application would have probably put it out of its misery, 
but one application did pretty well. Not a whole lot of grass in this area, so it kind of looks awkward. If you had some grass to start filling in, it wouldn't look as terrible. So Change Up is a great product, doesn't cost that much money per application, and you see it's a very excellent product to knock out a lot of different types of weeds. Thanks for watching the video. I'm Jason Creel. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to get in the lawn care business, go to lawncarelife.com. There's resources for mowing, mosquito spraying, weed control and fertilization, price and charge programs, video courses, all kinds of stuff, lawncarelife.com. If you want to go to the GIE Plus Expo, which is now called the Equip Expo, you can save 50% off your registration if you'll use my discount code, Lawn Care Life. That's all one word, Lawn Care Life, and you can enter in a registration. Early bird registration ends on September the 9th. It's 20 bucks, begin with my code, you can register for $10. Very cheap, very good event to attend. We'll see you guys in the next video.